Welcome to Gearheart Media. As we're in the studio today, I'm Adam Gearheart along with Mr. Jimmy Kinney and of Hillbilly Christmas in July and also the son of Mr. Shady Grady Kinney, one of the founding fathers of Hillbilly Days, uh, him along with uh, Howard Dirty Ear Stratton. And Jimmy, it's always good to have you in the studio. Thanks good for coming down and seeing us here, Harold. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. You Seems like we have, have a lot, a lot of going good, on this year. Good times every always. time we get together. Don't we, we do. We always have real good times. And, of course, uh, we're always getting together for a great cause. And the Shriners Children's Hospital is what we do a lot of work for. And, and of course, you're working year-round to, to raise money for that organization. You're quite the, the saint, uh, I'm sure, down there in, in those circles. I'm like uh, the middle person. I just kind of collect your all's money. And make sure it gets to the hospital. I think that's the, the role I play in this. Uh, without the support and the help of the whole community and, and you especially, uh, it's made it quite successful. Well, I think we, we've been trying to count up. It's been about eight or nine years somewhere in through there that we've been been fortunate enough to do our T-shirt sales at, at Hibbley Days to contribute to our donation each year. And, and through many of those years, uh, we've banded together with you guys and, and been able to go straight down to the hospital and present a check and, and, and you know, really have a, a warm, great feeling knowing, you know, that that money, what it's going toward. Because, you know, when those new facilities in Lexington is just magnificent. They are. And they're State doing the God's art. work down there for children. And what a better cause, you know. It is. And, you know, Adam, uh once you get uh, there and you get to see firsthand where your money's going and and what good it's doing it just makes a big difference and uh, i'd really encourage anyone that's uh you're making money or you're doing what you can for that hospital make a trip down there and see directly where your money's going and what it's going for it, it just makes a big difference when when you can touch it and feel it well here we are it's uh, september 13th 2018 we have you in the studio here on a beautiful thursday and a little bit late, you've already got a chance to go to the Shriners Hospital as you do it the last Friday of each July. Yeah. And so that would have been uh, Friday, July 27th uh, that you guys went down and presented a check. Tell us a little bit about how that went. <laughs> well, it was a great day. Uh, we, uh, missed you, we missed you this year, but we're making up for it right now. Yeah. we still got to do our part of the presentation. But tell me how special a day it was for you guys. Well, it worked out Christmas a little July. bit different this year because uh, we had a little boy, uh, Brian Woods, out of Pintsville that he uh, contacted me a few months ago and he said, you know, uh, we'd like to make some money, you know, take up some money for our school, for the Shriners Hospital. And I didn't think too much about it, you know, he wanted a little change purse or whatever and uh, we gave him some little uh, donation uh, boxes. And I met with him a little bit later and he had already taken up over $500 in the fourth grade in the, in the Paintsville Elementary. And so we all got together and we rode our motorcycles down just to, as appreciation, you know, for what you're doing. And by the time we got down there, he had taken up over $1,000 in the fourth grade. So I asked him if he'd ever made a trip to the Shriners Hospital, and he said no. And we kind of worked it out to where he could get a private tour of the hospital. So him and his uh, dad and his grandmother, they came down on the day that we did the check presentation. So he got to do his check presentation. It was... I think almost $1,100 that he did. And they gave him a private tour of the hospital, and they showed him where his money was going to go. And, and you know, they were doing a special project uh, that they were trying to fund for. So his $1,000, he got to see directly where his $1,000 was going to go. And then the project that they were looking at was, uh, it was I think it was around $70-some thousand dollars. So they took his 1000 and they took 25000 of our money that we gave them. So that would go in on that project. So it really made that project now that it's going to be reality quickly, you know, a lot quicker than they thought. So this is, this is kind of the things you do that you can see the difference in what you're doing. And, and he would just tickle to death uh, the special treatment. Uh, Tony Lee Good, the uh, administrator of the hospital, he came out and, and talked to Brian and uh, made him feel very special. So it was yeah. a special day for us. Well, most, most kids that age, uh, being in fourth grade, really don't think a whole lot toward, you know, what philanthropy and, and helping out with these needy causes. And that's really something great to see starting out so young. And Definitely. You know, yeah, I it, think the whole hospital was really uh, impressed with, with Brian and uh, what he had done. And uh, the last thing he said, he said, well, I guess uh, we made money for the fourth grade. I guess uh, next year we'll be making money for the fifth grade for the hospital. Yeah. So I, I see him coming back each year uh, when we do. And, I, you know, it's, I'm really 
can't wait to see what he does and the impression he makes. Now, there's a couple other groups that's been joining you over the last few years. Want to tell oh, us about about a couple other groups? Oh yeah, we we have the runners in town uh, that do their uh, their run. Uh, they do the 5K, 10K run, and uh, their money is uh, we take it down, so it's part of us. And then, of course, it was a Christmas in July, and and you were a big part of this. And yeah, well, there's a lot of people involved in this thing, but uh, the the key to it is you're seeing where your money goes. It, it goes directly to the hospital. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what you got to donate this year. I well, mean, how'd it go? Uh, we only did sixty thousand this year. Uh, we wanted to do a hundred, but uh, I guess it worked out where we did sixty. But uh, in thirteen years, that put us uh, five hundred and around eighty-seven thousand dollars that we contributed in thirteen years. So we're kind of pleased with that. You know, Absolutely. you throw that out there, and then uh, with the help of Double Quick, we did. Uh, over five hundred thousand dollars in toys, and uh, then we got to build the the totally handicapped playground at Bob Amos, the Randy Jones Memorial Playground, which is over three hundred thousand. Uh, we purchased a van for El Hassa Temple for transportation for our kids in Eastern Kentucky. So, I think Kibble Christmas in July is uh, pulling their weight. Hopefully, uh, no we just need to do it better it. next year. And not only that the shriners in general with what they do at hillbilly days and 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 everybody that comes together hillbilly to days, you know, you, i guess we're kind of taking it for granted you know uh next year be 43 years of it and uh, who would have thought you know that uh, it would even last this long but uh through the the guidance i guess of uh, dad and, and Harrod, it's uh, it's been successful and we've got a lot of people involved in it and uh, we try to bring up new things each year and uh, i know with uh, the pig drop that we have done now for, uh, I guess, three years, uh, which I'd ha happy to say that you were the winner of it. Uh, the, the first, first one, year, yeah, so the first it, year it really winner. worked out real good for that. And, this and you past donated year, the money I was one, back. One that was square super. away, I was so close, so close. Yeah, but it, uh, and we uh, next year for Hibbler Days, uh, it'll be a new thing because the mayor from now on will be dropping the pig in the, in the square. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll be in front of the Expo Center, and uh, it'll be tradition now that uh, 11 o'clock on Friday of Hibola Days, whoever the mayor is will be doing the honors of dropping the pig in, and uh, that money will be going to the hospital. So it's just another way of, of doing something, you know, that's creative love, and having fun. I love fun. that part of Hillbilly Days that you've added in, and, of course, we uh, get right there and stream it and let everybody see what's going it's on. Good. So you it's, know, it started out as just kind of a joke, but it's turned out to be, be a lot of fun. Yeah, you know? I think it's something people's going to be expecting from now on. So. The first one was five hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I think you did slightly uh, better here. Uh, uh, we did. We, we learned a few things, wise. you know. Uh, <laughs> a little more a better pig diet. Uh, for the That makes a big difference. Difference. You've got to feed the pig before you put them in there. So it's worked out quite a bit. Well, look, there's no doubt that you and and Hillbilly Christmas in July and Shriners has been an inspiration for us doing what we do while we're at Hillbilly Days with our booths and so on and so forth and with our T-shirt sales. And as you can see over here on our check, one of the reasons we wanted to get you come down today is, is we're getting ready to contribute our part. Yeah. Well, we missed you in July. And, uh, uh, we like being there when you are, and, and we apologize for that, but really um, glad still nonetheless that we're able to present $8,000 this year. It's a new total, uh, a new I'll record it it. for what we're doing <laughs> down here. So we're just really excited uh, to get this check down to them in Lexington and, and contribute to the cause. And this is just a uh, add-on from what you guys did, you know, in, in July. And, you know, because, like I said, um, you guys big inspirations for us doing our part and, and it's a small part but if everybody does a little part that steps up whatever just like you said a fourth grader yeah um, think about so it. yeah everybody does their part it's a big deal and, and really you can see it on the faces of the people at the Shriners Children's Hospital administrators and, and the doctors and everybody down there uh, you know, they yeah, know no, what the, it means to, to the have new that. equipment uh, means a whole lot. You know, well, they've got a new facility down there, and, you know, uh, they brought over some of their older stuff, and they're needing to phase it out and, and redo it. Of course, they got a lot of new stuff, and which worked out great. But some of their stuff was, the, you know, transported over. So they have uh, – they're needing some more stuff, and it, they'll continue to need it. You know, as times change, you know, it, uh, we have to change, and the hospital is doing a great job. And when we get to go – 
down to present this check, I hope to do another documentary on what they're doing there and just update people because that know, would be real good. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I mean, maybe if they haven't already collected enough money, your money will go in toward the project that we're on. Yeah, well, just wherever they need it most, <laughs> that's where I tell them to use it where you need it. That's, so that, that's it. the I good thing about it. It's, that's the key to it. They know more about what they're they doing know than we what do. the needs are immediately. Yeah, absolutely. But. But, yeah, I just wanted to get you on the air and, and, and talk to you and, and say uh, everybody's proud of you, Jimmy. And Man, I'll tell you what, I'm proud of you guys. You, uh, and, you know, uh, you guys have just picked it up and took off. And I know when we're on the streets of Hibble days, we're sitting there, you know, for three days, and we're having a lot of fun. And if we're not having fun, there's something bad wrong. And uh, normally we do. <laughs> Speaking of having fun, something new that you started this year, which I think was a huge success down to Mountain Arts Center, brought exile in exile a little was, bit about that was night. a great success for us uh this was something totally new to us and we didn't know what we was going to do uh the first time out uh, we're pretty green on a lot of stuff that we do but uh with exile uh we sold it out and uh it was just a great uh, concert and uh we made some good money on it uh, so next year i guess we'll be uh, falling back into it and doing something else uh, this was uh, this was first time and it was. It, it, it definitely a cool, cool way of going about things. Yeah, uh, it's on the sometimes you have to change, yeah. uh, which we're, we're pretty good to do and that. And, of course, you, know? uh, you all flowed another hog out there, had another big winner this year. Yeah, and uh, who knows what we'll come up with next year, but uh, yeah. surely it'll be something good. So here we are, like I said, in September 2018. Uh, what else you got going on throughout the rest of this year? Are you just start, well, already just, starting to plan on oh, next well, year, I guess? Uh, yes, we already of... plan on next year, uh, especially on our event day. Uh, we want to do a ride around Pike County for our Pike County Shrine kids. And uh, this next year you'll be doing, when you do the $20 for your ride, you'll be riding for a child, and you'll have that child's name. So... Uh, I'm working on some stuff that's going to work out good, I think. Uh, maybe some badges with the hospital logo with the name on it. So you'll be going to ride for a child. And uh, I'll get that number as of January of how many patients we have and who they are. And I always work my stats off of January. So if I tell you there's 387 or 392 or whatever, that's the number I get on January the 1st, you know, is what yeah. they have as a patient count. And that's the number I use all year until the next year because kids are going to be in and out. You know, that number go up and down during the year, but I use that one number for the full year. And uh, I think next year is going to be a, a different thing. It's going to be a ride in Pike County for Pike County Shrine Kids. So we're excited about that. Again, we're talking with Mr. Jimmy Kinney of Hibbley Christmas in July. And if there's someone out there that you've inspired, Jimmy, just like you inspired us, and they want to do something more. They want to contribute, and they want to know more about how to uh, work with Jimmy Kinney and, and, and learn some things from Jimmy Kinney. How can they get a hold of you or any way, uh, it's, uh, it's, websites or anything? You can do uh, Hibble, easy Hibble to find. Christmas in July, and you can do Facebook uh, website. Uh, you can call me 606-226-0726. Uh, uh, the Harley store has my number. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of, but, you know, I encourage you, if you want to get into something, a fundraiser or something for the hospital, uh, you can get a hold of me, and I'll give you the number to get a hold of the, the hospital directly, and the hospital can tell you how you need to do this the correct way because they won't let just anybody run out there and say, okay, I'm taking up money for the Shriners Hospital. It doesn't work like that because you'd have everybody in the country doing it. You need to do it the right way, and we learned that yeah. a long time ago is – uh, get a hold of the hospital and say I want to do a fundraiser for the hospital, and they'll they'll give you the correct way to do it. Uh, you can't just jump out on your own and and use their name. It just doesn't work that way. And there's a lot of different ways to contribute. Exactly. They may want to become part of the team at Hillbilly Christmas you in can. July because you got a yeah. a lot of great people there in uh, donating their time and and efforts that to help the cause. And exactly, a lot yeah, of good you know, people there in Hillbilly uh, Christmas. If you want to contribute July. a little bit or do something, and you want to and do it through us, you can. Uh, and I promise you, every penny we make will go directly to that Lexington Shriners Hospital. Awesome stuff, Jimmy. Like Love I said, <laughs> uh, glad to have you here in the studio and just wanted to kind of get an update on how that went with the presentation and, and just uh, uh, see what's going on with Jimmy Kinney. We're looking forward to next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, do you uh, 
want to give us an oink oink or any of that <laughs> hillbilly day yeehaw or <laughs> you just yeah, you, reserve you that, that for that how's that for that way <laughs> i reserve that for hillbilly days we'll, we'll oh, I, I just and, i just say come out and enjoy and uh, and have a good time and uh, you know we do it for the kids that's what we do all right right there you heard it from the man himself jimmy kenny i'm adam gearhart and this is a production of gearhart media <laughs>